the data management. When you look at your PLCs, PLC input cards, PLC output cards never come just by themselves. They always come with a PLC rack and power supply. So I'm going to draw here the PLC rack. So I'm, I will open a data portal and I will go for the Allen Bradley 1756 A10. This is my rack. Now you can see, in, of course, if I just narrow it down to dash A, you can see all the different racks we have available in the control logics. Now technically this rack is really just a mechanical portion or a mechanical piece. So I'm, I'm just going to drag and drop here a PLC box to represent, could be also a black box, but I'm going to use a PLC box that basically I drag and drop here. So I draw it and this happens to be the rack. Okay, so I can actually assign a rack ID. This is my rack, let's say uh, one or my main rack or my uh, control logics 001 rack. Okay, um, it is my Rockwell uh, control logics project and station ID. I don't really require it at this point here. Okay, so I'm going to insert here assign part onto this box. What it does, it basically transfers that part information onto that box. Next element I have to place is the power supply. Power supplies are usually called PB something. Now if I take a PB75 or PB72 depending on what, what it is, let's take the PB75, here we go, we place it, it comes right away with connections and I just place it. Um, a PLC does not work without a processor, so we have to actually find a processor. L61, L62, whichever we want. I'll take the L62, place it, number it. Then we place basically the IB16 cards that we have drawn before. But we don't place, or we will not place again the schematic portion, we will place the overview. So here, using the Shift tab, you can actually browse through and come to this view here, which is the overview representation type. Then, last but not least, is the OB8 card that we had placed. And same as for this one, I will actually place with the Shift tab, I will go and pick the overview. Now. The only portion here, or the only parts that actually require power uh, at, on this page here, is the power supply here. So if we zoom in, we can see that we need some DC plus. And if it's basically DC plus, DC minus, obviously it's a 24 VDC. You need more information on this component, you can always check it out here on some external documents that uh, Rockwell has attached to the parts very useful. Here it's jumping over to the Rockwell page. At the moment sometimes these documents are not easy to find. Sometimes uh, they have moved the documents so they're actually correcting this but you can actually see it here. So you have installation instructions, selection guides, 3D dimensional step files, everything that is actually uh, um, here. So this means we need some power. Power lines, 24 VDC. We place these power lines, X, Y, enter, 1, 1. And using the T nodes right, T nodes left, we will basically connect them, right? So if you drag and drop them right onto the line, and then you just use the 90 degree angle for DC plus, DC minus, the only one left is eventually the ground. If you want to ground it up here, if you want to connect this to the ground, there are different options. This is one option that I like. I just place it in. I call it the same as my ground uh, bar. I make it a bus bar because by making this a bus bar, it will hook up to the ground bus bar we have drawn earlier on the power distribution page. And then we just have to connect it 
and it will become right away a smart ground connection. Hopefully the line will be colored automatically. As you can see also the 24 VDC1 color is in blue, the uh, 0 VDC1 doesn't get changed, but there we go. We have now our PLC overview of all the components. And the only thing we now have to do is connect these to the existing ones. So remember, the uh, PLC input was actually drawn here on page 5, and the PLC output was actually drawn on page 30 and picked up the device tag A3000. So now what's interesting is you can see these overviews automatically give you the path function text that has been assigned on either of these sides and you can actually see on which page this is used. This is a PLC overview. 